Hello everybody, the Nameless Narcissist here once again. A simple man diagnosed with MPD, giving the facts of narcissistic personality disorder and things going on in my head. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, but keep in mind, I am no clinician. I can only speak to my own experiences. So, um, I got news recently that a cat that I kind of grew up with just died. Um, and like, this was a, I got, it was my dad's cat, so I wasn't there that often. But like, I think I was probably the closest one to that cat. And she was adorable. And she was a little Siamese, little white Siamese cat. And my dad named her Kit because I guess he just can't fucking think of an actual name for a pet. Um, <laughs> but I got that news and like my dad was like sobbing about it. Like, he, and like I couldn't help but notice that like I didn't. And this is like a very common thing that happens when people or things die. And it's just like, I just can't experience grief. It's like, I'm sad the cat's dead. Like, it's sad. I don't want the cat to be dead. Um, but at the same time, it's just nothing's coming. It makes me feel like... I don't like it. It makes me feel like I'm... It, it's like, even my dad can fucking uh, cry over that cat dying. And I can't. What does that say about me, given how much of a monster my dad is? I mean, I always knew that, like, I, it's just, it's always been like this, too. And I get, like, super, I swear to God, I'd be, like, so insensitive to people, um, other people, too. Like, at funerals, I have such an issue sometimes, because, like, I'm still in, oh, I need to charm everybody mode. I'm still in self-aggrandizing narcissist mode. And sometimes, like, I'll go a little bit too far, and I just don't even realize it. And I have to quickly change my behavior. And that happens constantly. I have to watch myself at funerals so much. I'm just so like, I hate it. Um, <laughs> wow, I can't even deal with, I can't even deal with funerals because it's not about me. Even funerals is uh, not acceptable. That's hilarious. Um, or like fucking people's pets die and I just have to sit there being like, oh my God, that's so sad. Like, do you guys actually feel sad when somebody's pet dies? When it's like, when it's not your pet, when it's like, or like their parents die or like something like that. Because actually like, I don't fucking get it. I don't get why I should feel sad because my friend's fish died. I don't even get why I should feel sad when um, my friend's parents die. That reminds me of, um, there's this one guy who used to be in my life who kind of fucked me over really bad. And I had this reaction of like, how do I put it? <laughs> like, so, see, this is an issue. Fuck. Um, whenever I go, like, we were at a party, and one of my friends kind of announces to the group that this guy's dad died. And this was, like, after me and him were estranged. And my initial response was to laugh. I thought it was hilarious. Not hilarious, but I thought it was funny. Like, genuinely. And then, it, and also just had the ridiculousness of trying to tell people this while I had a fucking swimming party. And then the ridiculousness of me laughing at somebody dying is also really funny. So now whenever I think about it, I just crack up a little bit. Um, God, it's so fucked up. And see, that's what's so funny about it. It's because it's so messed up. I'm laughing about that situation. It makes it so easy to um, laugh at. Oh my God. But yeah, yeah. and like, with the situations like that, I don't really care. Especially if it's like an enemy and something like close to them dies. I'm like, whatever. Like, why? That feels like justice to me. I'm glad that you're hurting because you hurt me. And my vindictive streak is terrible. Ter I would never do anything, you know, that bad to somebody out of justice. But when, you know, when karma catches up to him, it's great. But I, but like, when it comes to like, this poor fucking cat, and how, um, and how like, I was close to this cat, and I just do not feel anything. I just feel like a fucking monster. I feel like inhuman, that I am un incapable of grieving like that, of caring for things. And like, I think I cared about her. Maybe it's, maybe it's not the caring part that's instrumental, maybe it's just the grief, I just can't process grief. I don't know why. Like, God, I have to ask, I'm, I'm going live with Mark Evenson tomorrow, I gotta ask him, like, why I can't feel grief, because it's annoying. Um, cause it's one of those like emotions that feels so human. It, it's like one of the, like one of the core aspects of being human is like grieving at loss. And I'm like, nope, not me. It's like, there's some emotions like that, that like just in my head, 
like that um, empathy, love, um, guilt, like emotions like that, that just feel so human and so intrinsic to the human experience and are so instrumental in how people operate on the day to day. And I just don't get to experience them. Which sucks. I mean, some of them, I mean, some of them, it sucks for some of them. I don't know. There's some that I could do without. Um, I mean, it's just, I can't imagine, um, how different life would be if I could actually experience those things. And see, and like, even now as I'm talking about it, I am like turning this cat dying into a very self-focused and, um, conversation. I can't help but always just sink back into fucking thinking about myself all the time, 24-7, constantly worried that there's like an ailment with me or something, that something's wrong, or like about how great I am or about how terrible I am. It's just constant stream of bullshit. so stupid it is so stupid and it's like I like I remember like I read this like one story on reddit that like really resonated with me where this narcissist who was driving and some dude's um some dude's dog like runs out in front of his car as he's driving and dog fucking dies right and like how the narcissist was like it like described very similar feelings that I'm having of like, I don't feel anything that I killed that dog. It's sad, I wish it didn't happen, but I don't feel anything. But the shame that he felt over not feeling anything, the feeling of feeling like a monster because I cannot I engage with emotions the way other people can. I mean, what kind of fucking monster could like, what kind of monster like has a friend who shoots himself and they just don't feel anything? It's like, and I'm, oh God, for so long I tried to make excuses for why I didn't feel anything. Like, I think I'll, like, I'll have, like, bouts of, like, sadness every now and then. Um, usually not about death. Death, I don't really grieve, even though death is terrifying. I don't care what anybody says. I was like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Like, why be afraid of death? It doesn't matter, because you're dead. And I'm like, yeah, that's fucking terrifying. Not existing, fading into oblivion. Like, how? How are you not terrified of that at every second of every day? Not, not every second of every day, but you know what I mean. It's just, like, a lot. Because I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. Death is terrifying. And the idea of living forever is terrifying. Everything to do with this existentialism just does not seem like it's a good solution. Uh, now I'm just, I'm just fucking so stressed all the time nowadays. I need to hire, like, an assistant. Or, like, and I need to stop making enemies. I'm really bad at maintaining um, this stuff. Oh man, it's funny. I just keep pissing people off. Um, it's like it's funny. It's like um, I love how my my social life, um, the reflection of my social life on um, this social media like presence is very similar, very much mirroring how it goes in my day to day as well. I wonder if I owned a dog and I, well, no, I had like I had some pets that died that I don't really. I would care if my BC died. That was my fish. I think I did. I don't remember now. I don't remember if I... I don't remember if I was sad. I was, like, really attached to that fish, though. I, like, took care of that thing completely on my own. I won them at, like, a contest or something. Uh, like, some kind of uh, fucking fair. Because my parents would never let me get it. But anyway, but like since I had it, they're like, okay, well, fuck it, you're taking care of it though. And I did, and I did a damn good job. Then it died when we were on vacation, which was like so shitty. Why do pets die on vacation so often? I miss that fish. He or she, I don't know what gender it was, um, was a beta fish. That was blue with little bits of red. And he was my best friend. Sad saying, I'm oh, sad to say out loud. Ah, I wash his bowl too. I'm so fucking lazy. I can't believe that, like, as a kid, I was, um, I did that. 
I got my neighbor fucking flush them out of the toilet. I want to bury them. Fucking stupid neighbor. That lady's fucking crazy. I miss the fish. I'm so tired nowadays. Reminds me of like a simpler time, almost. I guess not really simpler, but like, I didn't think about it. When you don't think about it, like, it doesn't really exist. I mean, like, my, I was actively experiencing abuse at that point, but just because, like, I didn't know it wasn't normal, I didn't, I didn't know to focus on it or not. I was like, so much better at compart compart compartmentalizing. Good times. I miss not being, I miss not being self-aware, honestly. I miss being able to just assume everybody else was just like me and that I was actually, and I'm the only one that's being half decent. I miss everybody, like, I miss it all. I ask myself nowadays, like, if I would choose to be self-aware. Probably not. Probably not. Just that, just like the, it's just like not a fucking care in the world. I was still miserable, don't get me wrong, but it was so much easier just, like the defense mechanisms still worked right. They don't work it quite as good anymore when you work through them so much and like, you have to constantly question if you're right. Every fuck, nothing I do, I can, I feel justified in because I'm always self-doubting being like, okay, what if I'm being just a narcissist right now? And then the times I actually am wrong, like I, don't fucking see it. I'm just, I just act like a narcissist anyway. Uh, it's so fucking stupid. Uh, I really miss these days. Mm. Oh, perfect timing. Anyways, I will catch you guys later. Take your fucking meds, please.